Hey, this is Andy from Broke Gamer. Now, here we are. Uh, I thought at the end of 2016, uh, we're going to have a look at uh, what so far that's happened in the last uh, couple of months. How I've started uh, collecting video games. I have a game room tour. Now, this is a fun and exciting, lovely program. We're going to start off very simply. As I say at the moment, all my games are running through my Vizio 48 inch screen. Uh, it's a it's a very nice TV, and uh, it uh, does everything very well. Um, I say, uh, when I'm limited on space, all I have is I've done this lovely little custom little uh, shelving unit, in which I can only play about three consoles at a time. Now, I have these all connected at the time, and right now I've got my uh, good old Retron 5 on top. Um, at the moment, I'm playing NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Kind of fun. Got to have the old uh, lava lamp there. As uh, so you got the old screwdriver there, just in case the. Uh, as I say, if you saw in one of my previous videos, and uh, how uh, to make this thing work properly in my eye so far, and I have the PS2 underneath, and of course uh, one of my favourite consoles, the N64, and of course uh, you got the old controllers all on the side. Now I could have this all wired in through. Uh, component no, not sorry component composite cables um but i don't i have a nice little converter on the back here in which uh, i plug in separately i uh, haven't got a uh, splitter box yet and i just take each individual console i uh, say i think this one's the n64 version <laughs> and uh, i plug it straight in and it goes to a hdmi uh, upscales it to roughly around 720p and it pumps into the back of the TV. Now, of course, you know the Retron 5 already pumps out 720 uh, straight into the back. So, uh, and uh, I say you do get a pretty good image. Um, I must admit, I would like a, a proper upscaling unit, but uh, like I say that little unit behind here, I think it only cost me about uh, 25 bucks I found on eBay. And does the job, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, say so cable management isn't my forte at the moment. Um, so they all just—I could probably tidy them all up and put them behind. But uh, as I say, my nice little custom shelf unit is kind of fun. I do, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. <laughs> um, as I say, when we come around, um, I haven't got a great deal of stuff at the moment, and uh, from there I. Lucky enough, I don't need a great deal of storage space. So, when we come down, I literally, I slide underneath my bed. I have uh, all my uh, consoles that I have left. Um, yeah, so, you can see there, I've got the Nintendo, GameCube, and Original. i got my Sega Dreamcast, and i got a Wii, uh, which I'll do another video on that when I uh, get time. And, of course, all the uh, consoles and cables and power cords. And uh, controllers, all kind of in a bit of a mess, but uh, uh, I'll tidy that up one day. Um, well, my uh, hopefully my main goal, because I'll be doing a uh, garage conversion, and I'm hoping to be able to build a full uh, game center there, which I can have all of these all plugged up, wired in, ready to go whenever I want. So that's uh, is something, but at the moment it's stored underneath my bed. <laughs> Which, uh, as I say, I'm running out of space on consoles anyway. And lucky enough, when I come round on the other side of the bed, I have all my games. Yay! Um, at the moment, uh, as I say, you got my original Nintendo. I've got a couple of old manuals that I had from uh, when I was back in England. Because I went in to England early this year and I found, got a couple of my old manuals. From a couple of the old games I used to have, and say Street Fighter 2 Turbo and Super Mario, and that's it. Uh, I've got my uh, my NES collection, which I think most of you guys have already seen. I've got, uh, of course, my uh, PS2 collection, which is slowly growing. I'm not I'm not trying to buy every game I come across. I'm a bit picky now, and I've got a couple of Wii titles. Not my most favourite. Um, the N64 titles. And there's still got a couple of stickers on there that I would like to remove, tidy up. Um, I'll say which continues down here. I've got my GameCube collection. 
Um, so far, I'm doing quite well, just randomly picking um, GameCube titles up. I got my Super Nintendo, and I have now got a couple of Mega Drive games there. Um, and I've now just recently just randomly started buying a couple of the old Xbox titles. Uh, which, of course, uh, as I've said, will be hopefully my next console. And I've just got a random PlayStation game, <laughs> which uh, I bought at a thrift store uh, not that long ago for 50 cents. I've never played it. I have no idea what it is. I just saw it. It was all in good condition. So I was like, you know, yeah, let's go pick it up. So, yeah, at the end, this just stores under my bed. It's very, uh, um, very simple. As uh, when you've uh, got uh, my missus and I, we're all li living in one under one roof uh, with two kids, so uh, storage is always at a premium. Uh, so coming back up, yeah, as I said, that's my uh, quick little game room tour. Uh, it's uh, not uh, the best in the world. I mean, when you see other people and you line up and they've got uh, whole sh sh shelves full of uh, computer games they've got all their consoles wired in listen I've only been doing this a couple of months and uh, I really enjoyed it so far and it's uh, okay very good um, I don't think there's much else around I want to see a couple of movie posters uh, that is my, actually one of my first loves is movies and uh, so I'll probably uh, be doing it. So, okay, thank you very much. And uh, so stay tuned for the next.